All right, wild things. We came out in the dead of night so that you could hear some spooky spring sounds. In Iowa, we know spring is coming because the frogs start calling. Let's listen. How many different frogs can you hear? We're going to discover what different frogs sound like. Hi guys, we're back in the daylight. We decided to go out to the marsh out at the Hawkeye Wildlife Area and see if we could catch some of these frogs that were making all the noise the night last night. Um, so we ended up catching a few frogs and I think there's only a, there's only a few frogs calling right now. Um, but we're going to show you what we caught and um, talk about their sounds. Every year, um, springtime in Iowa, as the nights get warmer, lots of frogs come out and start calling. And it's the male frogs that are trying to attract the female frogs. So they kind of establish their own little territory in the marsh and each, each frog has its own little section of marsh that it, that it uses as its own and calls for the females. Um, once they mate, the, the female lays the eggs in the water and we'll see like strings of eggs and clumps of eggs in the water and then those hatch out and become tadpoles which then turn into frogs. So we're going to show you some cool Iowa frogs today and we'll talk about their sounds and then we'll do an activity. some frog eggs. As you can see they're in clusters and they're laid in the water. When the tadpoles hatch, the tadpoles swim, swim out of the thing. Alright guys, here's one of the frogs that we managed to catch at the marsh. This frog it's called a leopard frog, and he's the biggest one that we caught. There are bigger frogs in Iowa, like the bullfrog, but this is a leopard frog. You can see his pretty pattern. He's green and has some splotches, some uh, spots on him. He makes a sound that sounds a lot like if you were to have an inflated balloon and you drug your finger across the inflated balloon, and it kind of makes that sound. I can't make it very well, but. Um, We'll try to play his song later in the video, but this is what the leopard frog looks like. I'm going to pick up this container and see if I can get a picture up close. There he is, right there. You can see his mouth moving. He's a very good jumper we discovered yesterday when we tried to catch him. It was a little bit of a circus. All right, so there's the leopard frog. Okay. This is the second type of frog that we found at the marsh. Let's see if I can find a picture of him here. This is a chorus frog. You can see some stripes down his back there. There's another one here. He's a little more jumpy. He wants to climb the walls. They've got sticky toes. Um, but these frogs make a sound that sounds as if you were running your finger along the, the skinny teeth of a comb. And if you get a comb and try that, you'll know exactly what a chorus frog sounds like. Here they are from the other angle. Oh, right there. Climbing, you can see the little spots on his belly. Um, these are very tiny frogs. They're a lot smaller than the leopard frog. But their, their voices are very loud. So they were the ones we heard the most at the marsh. These are chorus frogs. Okay guys, it's time for our nature notebooks. A little bit different this time because I'm not gonna draw while you're watching. I've already drawn my pictures for the day and I, I didn't wanna record it because it would have taken quite a while to watch me draw all these. Um, I hope you'll draw some frogs of your own. So what I did is I drew three of the frogs that we, or I'm sorry, two of the frogs that we were able to find and three of the frogs that we were able to hear. And then I also drew a bullfrog. 
So I'm going to play for you some individual sounds. This one is the Western Chorus Frog. He has stripes. He's really small, maybe the size of a quarter. And this is what the Western Chorus Frog sounds like. He's the one that sounds like you're running a finger along the teeth of a comb. Sounds like this. So that, that is the Western Chorus Frog. Next was this bigger frog. The leopard frog is kind of the one you usually think of when you think of a frog. Um, and we're going to play his sound. It sounds um, more like rubbing your fingers along an inflated balloon. So we'll get to that sound. Right there, that's the sound. It's going to do it again. that right there. It's kind of hard to hear because it's mixed in with so many other frog calls, but if you rub your fingers along an inflated balloon and kind of drag them across, that's what it sounds like. Spring peeper is usually identified by this X you see that I drew on its back here. It's kind of got an X shape, whereas the western chorus frog has the stripes. Spring peepers are also small. They're very loud and they make a peeping sound like this. Okay, there's a lot of other frogs that you'll find in Iowa. One of those would be like this bullfrog. I didn't hear any of those calling, but um, they will eventually, and it sounds like this. So that's a bullfrog. There's other frogs like the cricket frog that sounds like you're banging uh, some steel balls together and I'll play that sound for you. So that's a cricket frog and you may hear that one a little bit later this spring when it warms up even more. Uh, the warmer it gets, the louder these frogs call, and the more of them that call. So I hope you'll be able to step outside your house and be able to hear some of these Iowa frogs calling for their mates. Um, so that's your nature notebook. I hope you'll email me some of your pictures of the frogs that you've drawn. And we're going to move on, and I think we'll have a little bit of a frog jumping contest for the activity today. Okay, for the frog activity, we are going to do a little bit of a jumping contest. You don't have to compete against somebody else, just compete against um, the, your own best jump. So what we're going to do um, is see if we can jump as good of a, as a frog, which is going to be hard because frogs generally jump around 30 times their body length, which is a lot. That'd be like Silas jumping halfway across the yard here, which or even, maybe even the whole way across the yard, I don't know. Well, if the dog will let go of my spot where I'm gonna mark his jump with, we'll see how he does in this first jump. So be like a frog, Si. Once you, la once you land, don't move your feet, okay? Okay, let's see how he does. Let's jump. Boom, right there, all right. Now I'll try to beat my record. Okay, now he's going to try to I'm going to mark his spot. You can either mark your spot or you can <laughs> or you can measure your jump. Okay, so I maybe get down crouch like a frog. No. Okay. Oh, he made it further. A little bit further. So that's what you guys can do is just try to beat your um, jump like a frog and beat your record. That's the activity for today. And you can do it in your house or outside. And we will see you next Wild Things.